guys, it's, it's not that bad, is it? You cannot let MTV shoot cribs in that apartment. <laughs> Why not? Dude, your apartment is totally gay. All right, what if I just lose all the duck stuff? And that stupid rocking horse. Well, bitch, don't be clowning it's a horsey horse. You are so bad. No way. Well, you are so bad. Well, what am I gonna do? I mean, the shoot's this Saturday and my decorator's in Nice. I'm in such a pickle. You know, you could shoot it here. No one would know. Here? Really? Yeah. We're gonna need to pimp these digs out a little bit. Hit the clubs, pick up some fine fillies, put up some purple drapes, leopard skin rug. Guys, do you mind? Oh, sorry. Right. Apologies. Well, I love you too. No, I love you more. I love you more. You, you, you infinity. Hey, how's Liz? I don't know. That was my mom. Suddenly, my place doesn't seem so disturbing. They say I gotta be a man. And I'm halfway there, halfway there. They say I'm having too much fun. But I don't care, I don't care. This is the time. It's going fast. How much is too much? Or not enough? There's so much stuff. I don't know. I wish that I could freeze time. Take it, boys! The crib shoot! Yeah! <laughs> What'd you think? Oh, look, a pole. <laughs> you guys don't get it, do you? Okay. Maybe this will help you. <laughs> I don't think that helps anybody. <laughs> It's a stripper pole. All right, well, look, the shoot is until tomorrow. Can we put that away? My parents are going to be here. What's the matter? Afraid your mummy will find out you're interested in other women? <laughs> hey, Mike, are your folks here already? Nope. Oh, because I saw the pole, and it looks like the one your mom keeps up her butt. <laughs> Not a big fan of the plaids, eh? Well, let's see. Dad's a hypercritical emotional zombie, and Mom hates me because I stole her boyfriend. I mean, son. She's just upset because you broke her clown figurine. Ugh, it was an accident. You know, she should get over it. The woman's got 300 of those stupid clowns. $2.99 now. <laughs> but seriously, Mike, you do have a bit of a weird thing with your mum. Well, it, it's sick, really. I mean, when did you start dating her? Was it when you took her to the prom? I did not take her. She was the chaperone. And it was one dance. We had to. We were voted king and queen. <laughs> Look, the reason my mom and I are so tight is because my dad was never there for either of us. Okay, all I ever wanted was a normal relationship with him, you know, go fishing, toss a ball around. Guy never even hugged me. Love me, daddy! <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is why men are so damaged in our society. Mommy! Michael, Michael, motorcycle! Hey, Pop. Hey, son. <laughs> oh. It's been too long. Hey, you're letting your hair grow a little, huh? Yes, yes, I'm a real hippie. Buy me a dress and call me Susie, right? <laughs> Okay, so, uh, hey, you remember uh, Ewan and Chow? Oh, is that Liz, I see? Hello, Mrs. Platt. <laughs> so what have you and Mike been up to? Just clowning around? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mrs. Platt, I I'm so sorry I broke your clown. It Whoops. <laughs> what clown? Oh, did you think I was? Oh, no, that's long forgotten. And it was a harlequin. <laughs> Oh my God, but look at the time. I, I really need to be at, 
elsewhere. <laughs> Bye, Mike. Honey, aren't you gonna... No. <laughs> I like her, you know, because she's not too pretty. <laughs> You know, this is some place you have here. Yeah, yeah, well, Ewan's firm actually pays for most of it. Yes, that's right. I still can't afford my own place. Yeah. Put me in a dress and call me Susie. <laughs> uh, Mr. Platt, do you uh, fancy a game of pool? Sure. Hey, nice stripper pole. <laughs> Can I buy a break from that guy? Because I will pay any price. Michael. Your father's just trying to reach out to you. You need to close your mouth and open your heart. But, Mommy, he this is the... This trip was his idea. Now, I'm having dinner tonight with your Aunt Judy, and I want you to go out with your father and get to know him as a man. He deserves a chance. You know I can't say no to that face. No. <laughs> Milt, Mike tells me you sell postage meters. Sounds interesting. Oh, it's not. It's horrible. <laughs> yeah, I, I think if I had to do it all over again, I would try to get into Mike's line of work, you know? Charity, helping people. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm sure there's plenty of kids in the third world who've never been told they throw like a girl. <laughs> okay, okay, I deserve that one. <laughs> <laughs> he does throw like a girl, though, doesn't he? <laughs> <laughs> one of those butch hard-throwing girls at the Olympics. <laughs> Okay, okay. Who wants another beer on me? And by that, I mean I'm paying for it. I don't want to wear it. <laughs> uh, yeah, thanks, Bill. I'll take one. Ah, oh, that guy's unbelievable. Yeah. Let's kick his ass. <laughs> right after he's bought us more beer and complimented our jobs. <laughs> hey, you don't know the history, okay? Look. Give Milt a chance before it's too late. It's not that easy. You don't D just Don't decide. make me sing Cats in the Cradle. Because <laughs> I will, and you will cry. Dude, I'm on fuego with Las Señoritas. <laughs> this MTV Cribs thing is the best rap I've ever had. Actually, you know, now you mention it, we do need to populate Status's place with the requisite hoes, posse people, and biatches. <laughs> oh, dude, in case anybody asks, uh, I've been telling people I'm the director. It's fine. And uh, in these times of uncertainty to bring Americans together, MTV now allows nudity. Uh, all right, so how about a toast to the first beer you ever bought me? Here, here. Though technically it's not if you count those beers you used to steal from the fridge down in the rumpus room. That wasn't me. You knew about that? Mike, why do you think I always put generic beer down there? I would never drink that ass water. <laughs> that? <laughs> wow. Mike, you know something? I was young once. So you stayed up late. You drank some beers. You had a party when your mother and I went to Atlantic City to see Neil Sedaka. And what a show that man puts on. <laughs> you didn't tell Mom, did you? Of course not. I told her I upchucked on the sofa. I really wish I would have known this. I would have thanked you. Well, you know, there are a lot of things I wished I had done differently, too. You weren't so bad. Hey, Mike. Um, Chow and I are going to be auditioning a few select people for Cribs back at the apartment. Well, have fun. I think I'm going to stay here and have another beer with my dad. It's great. OK, people. It's on! Let's go! Pretty people up front! Ugly people, give them room! You know who you are. Don't make me tell you. <laughs> Wait a minute, I just want to say something right now. You are the best ever, Dad. Oh, thanks, but you... No! The best! Mike, try not to drool in front of the attractive ladies. Hello, ladies. Don't stop being foxy on my account. You know what I want to do? I want to toss a ball around with my old man! Oh! Yeah! Go. yeah. Oh, uh, hey, Mike, you know what might be better in your state? Lying in bed near a bucket. 
Near it might be better in your state, chap. Lying in bed with the Queen, Mum. Go now. Dude, that is uncanny. <laughs> OK, gather round, people. Mike throws funny when he's sober. <laughs> OK, here comes the old slider. Right here, right here. Uh, oh. <laughs> nice toss. Crikey. <laughs> For God's sake, Mr. Platt! Hey, you and do we have any of that? Oh, good morning, sugar. Who's this? Oh, this is um someone very special to me. Mike, I'd like you to meet this woman. <laughs> And they got better looking in the morning. While your beauty is constant throughout the day. Ah, uh, there's that magic tongue again. Give us a kiss. <laughs> you and I really, really. Back off, Mike, she's mine. Really? You two hooked up last night? Hey, I'm as shocked as you are. I just came here to be on MTV. Hey, where's my dad? Where can a little girl whiz? Wait, this is weird. Last night, you looked exactly like him. Look, Mike, I, I don't know what happened last night, but let's not assume the worst. Can somebody help me find my thong? OK, assume the worst. <laughs> hey, wait, Mike. Mike, don't go. Look at you. So young. I've got panties older than you. <laughs> Is that room service? Hold on. Mike, Mama, what you... this is going to be really hard for me to say, but you need to hear this. Last night, me and Dad went out for a couple drinks, and I thought we were bonding, but he ended up cheating on you. Who is that guy in the hood? <laughs> Mike, it's very complicated. Oh, my God. You and Dad are sex freaks. And yet you've boiled it down to a sentence. Mike, look, it wasn't always like this. But when you went away to college, your father and I felt the need to spice things up. You think I'm going to throw up again? You might want to sip some ginger ale. <laughs> think there's a can in the honor bar. <laughs> Mama, why is the gimp talking to me? <laughs> now, is that any way to talk to your pediatrician? <laughs> Dr. Keisler? <laughs> Guilty. How's the asthma? It's not so good. Michael, just calm down. Relax. Sure, sure, I'll, I'll relax. I'll just imagine my mom and my baby doctor in their underwear. Oh, my God, I'm not imagining it. Michael, Michael, come back. He's a handsome boy. And bright, too. Do you know that he went to Oxford? <laughs> Hey. What's up, MTV Cribs? You chilling with the status quo. <laughs> right here, we got my custom, all stainless, six burner gas cooktop. Boo yeah! <laughs> Which I highly recommend because of the, uh, the precision of the temperature controls. <laughs> and let's say you're preparing a, uh, a, a reduction sauce or a bear rouge for a London world. Delicious. You could actually. Okay, quick break, people. Take a break. break. Man, what the hell was that? Yeah, I know, I know. It's just that I love to cook so much, and I never get to talk about it. <laughs> okay, we're gonna keep this simple. 
You point at something. You brag about it. You tell them how much it costs. Like in Master P's bathroom, he has a $200,000 solid gold bidet. Isn't that a little gauche? I don't know who makes it. I think it's a Kohler. Hey, listen, Mike. I'm sorry about your parents. I, I remember when I found out that my dad smoked. Unless he was smoking through a leather mask while your fourth grade teacher poured candle wax on his nipples, this analogy is not working. Okay, okay, Mike's parents are big whores. Walk it off. We got a show to do. Yeah, well, why don't you follow me over here to the uh, game room? Bathroom. Bathroom. Right. Because going to the bathroom's always been a game for status quo. <laughs> what the hell is you? Oh, no way. Okay, uh, okay. Take five, guys. Take five. Okay. Hey, man. Hey. If we're gonna do this, we need to work together. We're partners. Didn't you see Rush Hour? <laughs> Why is there a six-foot picture of me and Nelson Mandela in there? I want to show that you was political. We're in a hot tub. <laughs> with some woman. Oh, that's Maya Angelou. I wanted to show that you were cultured. <laughs> Look, I can't do this. Shoots off. No, 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 no. Status, please. This is career suicide. Yo, don't mess with MTV Cribs. <laughs> You're this close to hammer time. I'm sorry, but look at this place. Yeah, I would rather my fans think I have no cred than no taste. Now, yo, 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 come on out, y'all, all right? I need to holler at you for a second. It's time for status quo to get real. All right, this, uh, this ain't my crib. Look, I'm just gonna hit y'all with straight truth and let the chips fall where they may. All right, my real place is across the, um... Look, I live next to... Look, I live... in a crack house. <laughs> I need help! <laughs> Don't stop rolling, man. This is gold. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> You're with friends, you're with friends. He also has a gambling problem. Yes, yes, I gamble. I play a lot of bridge. Hey. I gamble under a bridge. <laughs> and uh, I know, uh, he's a sex addict. He shagged Maya Angelou. Look, I, I, I just hope this won't affect my fans buying my new CD. <laughs> Available in record stores everywhere January 13th. Motorcycle? Mommy, mommy sleeps with strangers. Can you imagine if we spoke to our folks that way? Wouldn't be alive to talk about it. <laughs> Michael, look, I came on this trip because I wanted us to have a better relationship. And take a look, last night we had a pretty good time, didn't we? Yes, yes we did. And then what happened? Oh yeah, you nailed a bar skank on my couch. <laughs> I don't appreciate the potty mouth. Michael, don't make the same mistakes I made. Don't repress yourself. In the last sexual revolution, I didn't fire a shot. This time around, your mother and I, we're on the front lines. Yeah. <laughs> yes, we're a little wild. Yes, your mother makes amateur porn. <laughs> and yes, I'm a little bi-curious. Okay, well, you know what? I'm bye-bye curious, so bye-bye. No, Roberta, wait, Mike, Mike, wait. Can I, can I just remind you of something? Five years ago, you sat on the floor of my flat distraught because your parents were headed for a divorce. Now look at them, they're happy and they're in love. And they love you. They love anyone who gets the newsletter. <laughs> and you two, you know, Maybe you ought to consider how awkward it would be if you knew the details of Mike's sex life. Yeah, yeah, how would you like that? But Mike's still a virgin. <laughs> oh, I hope it wasn't with that Liz. No, no, it was with Principal Daly's daughter. What, a sweet little Nancy? <laughs> yeah. 
And Ma, she was sweet all right, too, but she, she was just the first. Then came Mindy, you know, with the braces. Michael, I really don't want to hear anymore. Exactly. Great. So, uh, let me propose something. A, a no-sex zone. A ten-mile perimeter around Mike in which neither of you, uh, get your freak on. I guess we can live with that. Good, good. And, Dad, you were absolutely right about last night. We had a great time, and I hope we can do that again. I would like that. Good. All right, so, uh, I guess I'll see you next month at Aunt Judy's 50th? Oh, well, actually, that's gonna be a 50 nude and loving it party. <laughs> Aunt Judy and Uncle Fred? Oh, you think we're freaky. Uncle Fred, he just pierced his... Uh, <laughs> violating the no sex zone. These rules will take some getting used to. Hey, that's what you said about the basket. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> All right. Take care. Bye bye. Bye bye. Hey. Was that Milton Roberta Platt? Yeah, why? Man, they've got the sickest website. Uh. <laughs> Dude, uncool. Those are his parents. All right, cough up the web address. <laughs> for you.